Hey, what we have here is the Prairie King Snake. These guys are really kind of a neat snake. Uh, they're a king snake. They look a lot like a Great Plains Rat Snake, but they are a little different. A few things you could tell the difference of. One thing is they, their scales are smooth. The Great Plains Rat Snake, some of them have really smooth scales too. Uh, but if you look really, really close here, right at the, uh, the, the stripe down, down the spine, you will notice there's a tiny little ridge on each scale. <clears throat> Something else is kind of neat between king snakes and rat snakes. This is called the anal plate. This is their vent where they go to the bathroom. This, that scale right there is called the anal plate. If you notice, it's not broken. It's a solid scale. So if you notice, it's not broken. It's one solid scale right there. On rat snakes, it's a broken scale. There'll be a little line through the middle, actually two scales instead of one. So that's one way you can distinguish if you have the snake in hand or even a snake shed, you can look at that scale and determine it. Uh, if you notice too, since we got them upside down, most of the venomous snakes, there are some exceptions, but most of the venomous snakes, the, the belly scales, once it goes past the vent onto the tail, it stays solid, just like the, the scales are here. You see how they're kind of solid scales? that will continue all the way down to in here somewhere and once it gets to there it goes to double like on this one non-venomous usually go double the exceptions are the coral snake will have a tail looks just like this one but it's venomous and the long nose snake has a venomous snake looking tail those are the two exceptions here in the united states so you're thinking i'm not gonna pick up a snake and flip it over to tell what it is that's okay because if you find a snake shed you can look at the shed and determine if it was most likely a venomous or non-venomous snake <clears throat> something else too we'll look at the head on this guy look at the top of the head on him and you can look at the, the overall coloration and if you look he doesn't have very much of a neck it just kind of goes from body straight on the head and the great plains rat snake usually has a little more of a neck on it a lot of king snakes are known for eating other snakes and other reptiles this guy will he'll eat lizards and and other snakes occasionally, but they're, they're much more rodent eaters than anything else. They'll even eat birds sometimes, bird eggs, but they're typically, these are more rodent eaters overall. The belly on them, let's take a look at the overall belly. You know, the belly's got some pattern to it. It's kind of faded out pattern, but it's kind of neat. <clears throat> and these are very, very cool and beneficial snakes. This is a decent sized one. You'll see these referred to sometimes uh, on some of the pattern as a twin spot. The twin spot refers to the twin spots, but if you notice, his pattern is not completely twin spotted. He's got full bands across here, but then it goes the twin spot. But there's a lot of these that kind of have twin spotted like this. This is kind of a neat one. It's got a little bit of both. 